Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to Win a Home on Afternoon Express on SABC3. I'm your host, Danilo Aquisto, and a new week means a brand new adventure for our three design duos as they transform three cluster homes at the Eye of Africa estate in Johannesburg from white box spaces into lavish homes, one room at a time. Now, before we find out which room is next on the checklist, let's take a quick recap of what happened last week as they completed their guest bedrooms. Previously on Win at Home, the first challenge finished with a flurry of last-minute work. It is the final day and we know we're close to finishing our warm mural. We have everything still left to do. We will finish with the help of the design gods. Yeah. <laughs> Team Habitat had the most work to do and the stress was driving them up their grass-covered walls. Yo, 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 my nerd. Please, everybody out, 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 out. Miraculously, all three designed yours finished in the nick of time before the judges had the tough task critiquing three stylishly different guest bedrooms. All of us are standing to silence. Um, will I be able to sleep in this room? I'm not so sure. I think I wouldn't want to wake up with a hangover in this room. In the end, Team House and Leisure won the first challenge and bagged an extra 5,000 Rand to add it to their budget. So happy. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it gave us a lot of confidence that we're actually doing well. And we shouldn't be comfortable. We, this is Definitely. just like the beginning. We need to work Fuck even yeah. more hard to collect all those 5K. <laughs> <laughs> The reality of the competition is very much top of mind for all three design duos, and they'll need to channel that ambitious energy, as well as lessons from the first room, into their next challenge. Welcome back, it's challenge time again, contestants. And for this one, challenge two, you're really gonna have to think outside of the box. The previous round went to Team House and Leisure, but this time, we're back, we're wilder, and we've got more to bring. More tricks up our sleeves. They better hold on to that crown. We are coming for the crown. It's time to design and decorate the spare room. For this one, we're giving you complete creative freedom. However, there is one rule. It may not be a bedroom. Next challenge, it's an open brief and we're ready to go. Yeah, and we are not sure if to do the music room or a library because some of us are quite uh, oh, readers. Oh, intellectual. We are readers. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> not daily sun readers. <laughs> All this creative freedom might be a blessing for some of you or a curse for others, but remember that this is somebody's future home. So it needs to be both practical and creative. Our minds are juggling around. What to do that works for everybody, especially <laughs> the winner of that home. Yeah, so we put in our minds together because we got to take this. This time around, every team out of the way. We're coming <laughs> for that prize. You have two weeks to create something that will wow the judges. Go forth and design. We're actually turning ours into a walk-in closet. Yeah. Because <laughs> Temple always talks about walking in closets. And I think it'll fit very perfect for the master suit. What better starting point than selecting the all-important paint colours? So we've decided to go a little bit intellectual. I mean, and uh, do a leopard's library. Because we started with the zebra, now it's time to bring in another big bath. Yeah, the leopard. Yes. We're here today to discuss the colours you've chosen to paint your library. So as you can see, we are dressed to kill like a leopard. <laughs> Rawr. Excellent, leopard. excellent. Yes. excellent. So you've got a theme already and uh, we're going to be looking at the colours then based on your theme. Fun in the sun, can you Definitely. tell me a bit why Definitely. you chose that colour? I mean, it's like sun tanning in your library. 
while reading that, I don't know, Daniel Steele <laughs> book. You know, you want to feel like you're outside, but you're inside. inside. Well, it's a nice, warm and inviting colour as well. Mm. It'll make you feel comfortable in that area. Yes. Great choice, great choice. Okay, then we have a secondary colour here, which is Love Triangle. Yes, okay. like Bill Clinton, you know, you want to add a bit of excitement into the <laughs> library. So then it feels like you're working, but you can mix pleasure with play and work. Yes. Right. <laughs> so what are the chances of us choosing behind Fun in the Sun and Love Triangle? 100%. Yes. It was a Love Triangle. Indeed. <laughs> in the paint and hardware store. <laughs> Well, I like your thinking. There's three colours you've chosen here. Yes. Having three shades is a very good uh, idea if you want to have a, a look and feel as you are planning. Yes. So the third colour that I see you've chosen is sterling, which is a grey. This is going to bring some neutral tone to this combination. Absolutely. We're the only ones daring enough to go that wild. They definitely go nicely together. You'll be unique in the sense that you'll be the only ones who have a library with these shades. So Hein loves the colours that we picked. He is definitely like intrigued and he feels that they're bold colours and something quite unusual to make. And he did mention that they'll create a nice mood. Absolutely. For the, for the room. We are at Scissorstone brainstorming with Melissa. We are quite more of a plain people who don't want to go very bold when it comes to colours and we're going to have fun, yeah. trust me. We thought about a, a, a pot plant box. Fantastic. That, and then and a warm mounted uh, flower pot. We have some amazing colours, maybe you guys uh, can choose. Well we definitely want to use your new Supernatural range. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely stunning. I actually favour this Blanc. Fantastic, it's one of our brand new colours. I love it. Yeah, I love it too, but I was also thinking about the rugged concrete. Nice, nice. And I like this one because it has a little bit of texture. It's beautiful. Are there any other colours you guys love? Well, how about the vanilla noir? It's quite dramatic, don't you think? Yeah, and also classical. Great choice. Might Great make choice. a statement. Yeah. Cool, let's try and put it together. Awesome. I think Team Vessi's ideas are brilliant. I really like the design element that they've got going and the fact that they're using different colours together in combination makes very interesting items. And we actually want to put them together like this. So if we have this there and put this together. Oh, I love that. And cut this into an angle. Yeah, fantastic. I love the design element. I love the angles and I think it'll look absolutely amazing. Exactly. Stunning idea, guys. The upside with using one of our supernatural colours is it's completely unique to Caesarstone. The R&D team spend lots of time developing these colours. It is completely unique. It's different. And we are definitely unique. Yes. So we are having so much fun at Caesarstone, playing with the slab, and the Seho doesn't want to give me the remote. I don't know why. Don't be jealous. And... Don't be jealous just because I'm in control. Yeah, but I'm afraid that she's going to lose a tooth. Or <laughs> I just love, I just love Caesar Stone. I'm sorry, okay? Yeah. I have a problem. Okay. <laughs> We're having a mentor meeting today with Tian and we're at a furniture store looking for an ottoman and a desk chair. Someone on my side is actually very worried <laughs> that we might not find exactly what you're looking for. The problem is not finding an ottoman, but it is finding the right ottoman. I mean, right now, I'm not really exactly sure what I want, but I will know it when I see it. So what's the idea for this room? Are you converting something into something new? Is it a repurposed room? What's the thinking? So we're actually thinking of creating a walk-in closet mm -hmm. slash, slash office space. <laughs> Why are you leaving that out? <laughs> he actually cool. gave me a hassle with that yeah. <laughs> because he just wanted it to be a whole closet. A full dressing room. I think it's a great idea that you guys have converted the wardrobe into a study as well so that you have a sense of purpose with that room and a, a multi-purpose room. So in terms of colour for the room, I know you guys always think of something clever that you want to introduce. Is there something that you're doing in this room? Uh, this time around, we decided to lay off a bed from okay. murals yeah. and strangling each other. Yeah. <laughs> so we decided yes. to yes. just keep the wall a solid colour, okay. which is like a pastel leafy green. Yeah. It's like a soft cheese green. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. So based on the judges' criteria and critique last week, your curtain solution wasn't the best idea or solution for that room. So in order to get it right this week, what are you guys thinking of doing? 
The current problem we're having right now is that door, mm -hmm. when it opens, it opens against the wall. Onto we, the curtain uh, When right. we were designing, we didn't think of that. Okay. So we need to find like a solution that's going to sit within something. The frame of the window. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So something that filter in. Yeah, line. filters in line. Well, that's what I want to say. Just be aware of the sunlight that right. needs to come into that room. The guys had a very interesting idea to take a room and convert it into a multi-purpose space. So it's going to be a wardrobe, it's going to be a study, um, and I think it's a clever use of space, but it's also a way of expanding on the home and offering the homeowner more than the cookie cutter kind of shape that they've been given. Um, so it's a very clever idea, which I think is going to be cool. So we've got great options here. What, what are you looking for? We've got something with pattern, we've got two neutrals that square, are they just too dull for you? I don't see anything here working at all. Are they just too dull for you? <laughs> I feel like something with more colour would work. Something richer. Should we check online? I'm sure there's something perfect for this room. Come, let's go, get up. Go. Tian is in the house. <laughs> so we're shopping for an ottoman, which seems to be far more difficult than what I thought originally. tepo has got a very clear idea of what he wants. It needs to tick off colour, texture and the shape. I'm sure there's something out there that would suit the room perfectly. At Natural Stone Design, the Caesar Stone slab is cut according to Team VC specifications. Right, we're busy with two plant boxes for Team VC. They selected them on blanc color. Um, I quite like the idea that they've got behind it. I think it's something that none of the other guys have actually thought of. Manufacturing process involves the following. Cutting of the material. This process is done on an infrared bridge saw, which enables us to get the precise cut done for the sizes required. The next step is the polishing of the edges of the material. Our straight line polishing machine enables us to get the perfect shine on the edges right through consistently. All the water used in cutting the slabs is recycled, ensuring the process is eco-friendly. After polishing of the edges, the material goes to the mitre machines where all the mitre joints gets cut on the, on the tops. From there, the material goes to the gluing and assembling. This process involves where all the mitre cut pieces are being lined up, glued for your seamless look. The last step involves quality control, where all the pieces that's been polished and mitered and every single piece gets checked and made sure it's ready to go to the full installation. I think the plant boxes came out beautifully with them on blanc color and I wish them all the best. Thank goodness, it seems the design duos are all off to a much more organized start this time around. But the spare room really is the blank canvas of the home and the design duos are really going to have to push their creativity to the limits. We'll be right back after these. The new rugged concrete from Caesar Stone, the global trendsetter in kitchen countertops. Caesar Stone. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon, designed for life. A warm welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. In the first challenge, the guest bedroom, Team Habitat was struggling without their mentor, Amanda, who was recovering in hospital. Now, after the judges criticized Abia and Brad and suggested that they edit their design, will their mentor be back in time to help them steer to victory in the second challenge? So another week, another challenge, and another room. Sure. Our Leopard's Library. Without a leopard or a library. Oh, <laughs> yeah. my words, we've got a lot of work to do. Yeah. Oh, Hello. Amanda! Our oh, girl, our queen is back. Yes. Yes. Amanda, we're so glad you're out of hospital. Thank uh, you. I hope it wasn't us and our budget bickering that sent <laughs> you. <laughs> no, it definitely <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> but it's so good to see you. Our queen, Amanda, is back. And we are with her and discussing this leopard's library. No, we're excited. I mean, she's got 
those reins tighter because she said she wanted to reel us in a bit yes. that we don't go over the top. Last time we were shutting the front door, this time we are opening that front door. door. <laughs> yes. Yes. So we're looking at doing a leopard's library. Right. But you know, we want to keep it quite clean. Minimalistic. Yes. Which is more in line with habitat. And maybe play around with like the ornamentation. I love the ladder. Are you considering using the ladder? And we want that ladder to go all the way around. Yeah, because we want our library to go all the way around the room. Right. Great. Yeah. Okay, so let me show you our fabric yes. that we selected. So this is the fabric that we came back with. We are right. doing chairs that we upcycle. And so far, the only thing that might be upholstered is our relationship, which <laughs> might end in a big D, divorce. Because I didn't know, he didn't know, and we ended up with this one. Right. To be honest, I'm, I'm not crazy about this fabric at all. I think that a Cavalli leopard print would be a lot more suitable. Abia, what did I tell you? You told me if I want Cavalli, I better not use that card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's show the floor samples. Okay, so floor samples. Okay, so these are the two that we decided to go for, right. which we're going to use a herringbone effect. Fabulous choice, guys. Okay, so let me show you our Plascon paint that we chose. We went from a, a double velvet to a cashmere. Okay. Yes. We yes. stuck with the true love triangle and the love in the sun. Yes. I think the love triangle um, with the, the purple undertones is going to create quite a, a bit of mood and possibly a bit of mysteriousness, which I like and I'm looking forward to seeing. Should I give a shot on the wall? Let's paint, guys. Let's go for it. <laughs> We're painting this wall, getting carried away, as we usually do. Forgetting Amanda standing there just watching these two boys. What are they up to? Painting. One coat, two coat, three coat, I mean... four coat. <laughs> as you can see, they're completely into this painting. Oh, my word! And I got paint on me. Oh, I should have worn my overall. <laughs> <laughs> huh? I'm going to invoice you from that budget. Yes, he's coming out of the budget. Ah. I'm hoping that um, our design duo will win the next challenge. I think the fact that they've decided to make this room a library room is a great idea. The colours work extremely well together. The only thing that perturbed me was the fabric that they'd chosen to cover the chairs in. It is a bit Kruger National Parkish. I suggested that the look we want to go for is the Cavalli leopard print. We had Bulga Takes today and we're so excited because now we've got more options. Like we actually have got options of a carpet or the vinyl flooring. flooring yeah. Yes. And someone over here having too many options. <laughs> <it's a problem. laughs> Tapo, I need you here. <laughs> What do you think of this flooring? I like the darker one, Why? but on second thoughts, I think the lighter one would work better. But that one is still nice. Uh, there he goes again. Uh, I'm allowed to change my mind. <laughs> no, I'm not the same person I was 10 seconds ago, so let me flourish. I like that one. But then let's rather look at the carpet. I think that would be better for the dressing room. Because you, know you, you want to work on something soft after dressing. So yeah, let's go. I can't deal with this boy today, he's so indecisive. Like, I can't. <laughs> Hi, Jan. Oh, I'm definitely at the right place because we're looking for a carpet. Something that's comfortable underfoot for our dressing room slash office space. Let's have a look at what your options are and, and take it from there. But it depends on taste as well. In that type of environment where it's a dressing room, I will always recommend a softer underfoot type of carpet. Something like this, which is soft and very luxurious and you can feel it over there. Oh, wow. So Jan is advising us just to make sure that we get like the carpet we really want because we're looking for something really light that's not going to dim down the room since we're trying to keep that whole 
everything light in the space. space yes, and warm, very warm and luxury. I see you guys have a guarantee. Does that get affected when you use a commercial carpet in a residential space? Commercial carpet in a residential space will, will work 100% because it's manufactured more for commercial, commercial um, high traffic areas. Mm -hmm. So definitely your, your guarantees will apply the same. It's when you use a residential product in a commercial application oh, yeah. where, where you might have problems, problems with the yeah. wear and tear of the product. But this type of product in that space, 100%. All right. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. Yeah, we really appreciate it. This will be very helpful. Thank you. Good. Thank, thank you, you, guys. Thanks for visiting us. On the other side of Joburg, Team VC are embarking on a creative collaboration to capture the essence of the urban jungle for their multi-purpose study space. We decided to use a photographer called Mpomukadi for our collaboration. And Lesoho hasn't met Mpo yet, so I'm introducing Lesoho to Mpo. Uh, I've worked with Mpo Mokadi before, and he's quite an amazing photographer. So the idea is to show people that uh, a collab is not only about furniture and other stuff. And pictures also play like a big part inside an interior space. This is my baby. Yeah. 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 So Mpo is a photographer, mm. and he moved to Jobek, I think, three years ago. So I think we can include him on our Definitely, definitely. Do you know about the space? Yeah, well, I shoot a lot of like urban spaces, architecture. That's and, perfect, know, that's yeah, perfect. Yeah. So what yeah. we're trying to do in our room is we're trying to make it a more of a like concrete yes, yeah, but yeah. we want it to be a safe place basically. Yeah, yeah. And we feel like sometimes Joburg is the safe place definitely. for certain people. Yeah. So, so uh, people, we're going to be shooting uh, night photos and also daylight photos. So are you good? You yeah, I'm perfect, good, man. I'm I think we can start with one shoot here. What do you think? Yeah, of course, man. Awesome. I mean, yeah, yeah. Let's do this. Let's do this. Sure. I am collaborating with Mpo and Lesoho. Actually, Mpo approached me to sort of do a collab with them. And I was really excited because I've known Mpo for quite some time now. We studied together. Since I'm an urban space photographer and I do a lot of architecture, I was excited that I'm going to have to match my work with what they're doing uh, in terms of like their design into a, a library slash studio. And I was quite excited to sort of bring my sense, you know, of style into it as well. Our brief is to basically capture the city from a young person's perspective. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we also want to show the angles of the building, yeah. old Johannesburg, new lines. Johannesburg, absolutely everything that we see as young people in Joburg. We also think Mpo is the best photographer to do this because he's worked with architectural buildings before, so he knows exactly what he's doing here. It's so good to see our design duos hard at work. And it's a very exciting opportunity this weekend because you could get to meet them in person. Tomorrow, our design duos will be at 100% Design South Africa at the Gallagher Convention Center in Joburg. They'll be at the Media Lounge at 1.30 p.m. Now, this is your chance to say hello and let them know what you really think of their design so far. And of course, get that all-important selfie with your favorite design duo. Make your way to Decorex Joburg and 100% Design South Africa for the special meet and greet opportunity tomorrow only and lend your support to amazing local design talent. Now after the break from blowing their budget last week to upcycling this week, Team Habitat put their brands of Razzle Dazzle to secondhand shopping. Grundig for a good reason. This is Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Now, one of the biggest design trends at the moment is taking retro, vintage, or antique pieces of decor and furniture and giving them a new lease on life in modern interiors. Now, surprisingly, it's Team Habitat who have chosen to go this route for their Leopard Library. And they start their hunt for bargains at a local secondhand bookstore. <laughs> We are ready to roar for our leopard's library. Meow. We're crawling around like leopards. Hunting for those book bargains. In every category, like... Brides, always the bridesmaid, never the bride. Pets, travel, cooking, 
Chicken or beef, man? Wildlife. Architecture. Biography. Design. Every single category you can think of that you would find in the library, we are hunting for that book. Man is the librarian. <laughs> Ma'am, you're awfully rude. <laughs> we are picking every book you can think of, stacks on stacks on stacks, book, 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 book. And yeah. although we're not much readers... Ourselves. <laughs> yes. Those books got our attention. And we had a little power nap and opened up a book oh. just to calm my nerves. We are at the hospice furniture section. I'm busy trying out some chairs. Next thing I turn around, the beer's crawling on the table. And then on the other side, look at this beautiful dresser. Yes, mirror. What's a dresser without a mirror? While looking at myself in the mirror, just thinking about whether to buy this dress or not, we see this radio, like vintage to the core, but still plays. I mean, we turned it up. We turned it up in that charity shop. Sure, I mean, it was, yes, yes, charge it, charge it. I definitely think the hospice should be paying us some form of royalties, because we turned it up in there. Sure, love this antique. Furniture. All it needs is to be brought back to life. Honey, maybe with some of this artwork? Decorating doctors, let's bring this back to life. Boom! <laughs> Would you put that one not too bad? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, yes. no, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. <laughs> I think it's a maybe. Yes, no, maybe. <laughs> but I know this is a yes. Boom. Boom. Cover girl! That's watch. Sure. So what were you reading? Feng Shui. How to apply the secrets of Chinese wisdom for health, wealth, and happiness. <laughs> we need some of that. Oh, I'll read. We need a lot of that. Honey, we didn't win the last room, so we better <laughs> make sure <laughs> our Feng Shui is a fabulous. <laughs> yeah. It's very important for us to check out the functionality of the pieces while shopping. Absolutely. I mean, what's the point of having a dining room table if it can't hold massa? Or a stiletto that's not going to get you down the street. Or a mirror dresser if you can't see yourself. Okay. <laughs> so we really do like to test it out before we drive out with it. Or try it on. <laughs> <laughs> As Team Habitat dances to the beat of their own drum, Team VC is getting haughty cultural advice from their mentor, Anna Marie Menkis. We are looking at palm trees for their Caesar stone planter. And I'm very impressed with the fact that they're also keen on a very large tree. But the price is very important. I would have gone skyrocketed, but they're concerned about their budget. I'm so glad you decided on a palm tree and that you're going for one instead of two. But if you get one, you must make a statement. It must be big. Anna Marie is shopping with us and she advises that we go for a bigger, mm -hmm. fuller palm tree. I'm a slender type of a guy, so <laughs> I wanted that palm tree to be like a slender yana. Well, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> you That's see, quite big. okay, where her boots are. So we're gonna score that much. So I think I it'll think be you can go. Oh, do you quite think big. it's too high? I think it's quite You know big. what? No, I don't think so. But maybe this one is better. I want a bonsai in this room, specifically because I think it's a nice activity to do when you're clearing your mind yeah. and working. We wanted to go with a bonsai in our room because we wanted the owner of the room to have something to do when he is thinking. And so that he can um, keep his fingers busy while his mind is working. So. What we're looking for is, is a 6,000 rand one or a 7,000 rand one. <laughs> okay, no, no, no. All jokes aside, these are really beautiful, but they're very expensive. And unless you have an oriental theme in the room, if there's something Japanese or Chinese, I wouldn't go for that. Let's go and see if we can't get a thorn tree. Something yeah. local. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Voila! Woo. These are beautiful. Nine years old. What? Old. This is nine years old. old. Yes, but how much is it? It's five fifty. 
550. That's not mm. bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Are you sure this is nine years old? <laughs> they won't lie to us. <laughs> we don't have to decide right now, so we're still going to think about it a little bit. Yeah, I'm not sure if we have time because of... <laughs> but we, we got the palm tree. Yeah, perfect. Team VC is blissfully unaware that they're not the only design duo who has approached photographer Paul Mohadi for a collaboration. Could this cause conflict between the rival duos? Well, it's so exciting to finally get to work with you. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm so excited to work with you guys. So basically what you have in mind is for one of your works to lean against this wall since we're going to be having like a floating desk over yeah. here. So I think, can, like, can we look at some of the stuff you have for us? Yeah, sure. I mean, this is my recent travel to Barcelona. It was self-funded. I just decided to just go and like scout on buildings and Barcelona just came in my mind. But there was one building we saw. Yeah, this one. Oh, it's the, that's what we loved. Yeah, it's the um, Hotel Fira in Barcelona. Paul, so how did you capture it? It looks so insane. Actually, I struggled a lot because, you know, when you don't have time to shoot, you also have to consider lighting as well. As well yeah. So it was kind of difficult. I saw it and I had to, like, come the following day to actually, you know, shoot it, with it looks lighting. like fabric, like the textures of the building. It does. It does. It does. So, so I guess it, it will complement as well your space as well because of the texture. But that's definitely the one that we're going for. Would you be able to print it for us and then we'll collect it to frame it? Yeah, it's a limited edition, so only a few people will have this uh, photograph, so... We really Even appreciate better. that. Yeah. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Awesome. Well, thank Thanks you. so much. <laughs> thank you. So as we're working out with him, Mpa Designer comes over and tells us that he's, he's using the same photographer as well. Oh, yes. And we're like, oh, okay. I actually wasn't surprised, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Yes, because I mean it's a very small world. Like the art one, it's like tiny dot. Tiny. And what is this? Oh, you guys are working in the same project. What a small world! So we're collaborating with Mpumakadi, and all of a sudden I'm looking for water in the unit so that I can clean the room. And I'm like, boom! There goes the guy. And I'm like, dude, aren't you supposed to do this with us? I'm also doing a collab with Mpo. Are you guys are away. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't realize you're collaborating with him as well. It's exciting to work with both of you guys. I mean. Yeah, I mean... Okay, I'm not... Yeah. I'm not... I'm not happy with you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's fine, guys. Let's yeah. see how it's gonna look. Yeah. Got you. Cool. So I was not quite pleased with what happened, but then what... I think maybe it's all about how we're going to implement his work into our own space and how they're going to implement it as well. Woohoo! It's going to get saucy as it's game on in the battle of the collabs between Team VC and Team House and Leisure. Now, as the competition heats up between the design duos, don't forget that the big winner here could be you. While they decorate these cluster homes at Eye of Africa Estate, make sure you enter the Winner Home Grand Prize competition to stand a chance of winning your choice of one of those three completed homes as decorated by our design duos, a prize valued at over 3 million rand. Simply visit private privateproperty.co.za, click on that winner home icon, answer a very simple question and then vote for your favorite design duo to enter. Remember that by entering, you also automatically get entered into our new bi-weekly competition, where this time round you can win a Plascon paint voucher to the value of 5,000 Rand. I can also announce that the winner of last week's bi-weekly prize, the Sealy Posturepedic Bed, is Felix Nkosi, who voted for Team House and Leisure. Congratulations and enjoy your prize. And while you dream of that future estate lifestyle, after the break, it's time for another installment of our property advice segment brought to you by Private Property. And this week, Jeannie gets schooled on the legal side of estate living. Because if it doesn't improve people's lives, it isn't Plascon. Plascon. Designed for life. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property. A home for everyone. So we
with Winner Home now in full swing here on Afternoon Express. We are transforming ourselves into experts in all things estate living. We're exploring various aspects related to buying and living on estates. And today we discuss legal aspects related to living in an estate. Joining us today is Lisa Boniface. Welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. It's so nice lovely to, be to back see you here. again. Yeah, great. Now, I want to know, in terms of running the properties, what is the main body responsible for either the freestanding or the sectional title within an estate. Okay, so Jeannie, let's start with the freehold. Yeah. That's run by the Homeowners Association. So the developer forms a non-profit company under the Companies Act. Okay. And that's governed by a memorandum of incorporation. And that authorizes a set of rules. So generally those rules are governed and controlled by your homeowners association. And in your sectional title, you deal with the body corporate. Yeah. And the body corporate is formed as soon as one of the units is transferred from the developer's name into a new owner's name. The body corporate comes into existence. And every person that buys into a sectional scheme becomes a member of a body corporate. Automatically. Yes. Okay, now I want to know a little bit more detail. So let's break it down. Let's go to the homeowners association. So I assume that's just homeowners. Yes. What are their roles, their obligations, their responsibilities, and what exactly does it mean to be part of the Homeowners Association? Okay. So what the Homeowners Association controls and administers is the communal property in a, in a state. So for instance, okay. your clubhouses, your golf courses, the streets, um, all the communal areas that everybody utilizes in that particular estate, they ensure the governance of those. They ensure that a levy is provided for and money okay. is collected and the upkeep of all of those items are controlled by them. Okay. So, and, and what you find as well is the a homeowners association is becomes the owner of those communal areas. All right, but a homeowners association wouldn't then be involved in like neighbours' developments or renovations or anything, or do they also have a say? Well, remember, like I said to you before, G uh, Jeannie, there is architectural guidelines. Okay. And when you buy into an estate, you buy into their rules. Yeah. And they would then control those rules through their memorandum of incorporation, with, which authorises things like house rules and estate rules okay. and architectural guidelines. Okay. So they would ensure good governance of those items. So, for example, if everybody's house in the estate has to be white, you can't go and paint yours pink. No, definitely. <laughs> okay. Exactly. They want now, us to live in harmony. So. Yeah, I think I love when it's like that. Um, now, let's look at the body corporate. How does that differ and what exactly are then the roles, the obligations and the responsibilities okay. um, of the body corporate? So, the body corporate is really responsible for ensuring that the rules, management and conduct rules are complied with, that they establish a fund and that the money is collected in that fund and this then goes to the upkeep of the property and running the body corporate. Um, essentially. So that's exactly what they're involved with, is just running the common property, the day-to-day -day running of a, a scheme, as well as establishing a fund, controlling that fund, and then ensuring things are looked after. Okay, so let's have a look at an estate like Eye of Africa, for example, where there's sectional title and there's freestanding homes. Who is then the body okay. and what is the difference? How can they work in harmony okay. together? So generally when you buy into an estate um, and you purchase a sectional title unit in that mm. estate, you automatically become an owner or you have to acknowledge and consent to becoming an owner of the homeowners association. So the homeowner association is the controlling body and that would mean then that you would need to comply with their rules, uh, with their memorandum of incorporation. Um, um, so they definitely the controlling body and you would need to comply with their rules as well as your own management and co conduct rules within your scheme. And there can also be two levies payable in that regard. So that's something that a buyer must definitely look into when buying into an estate. And um, if you are buying into a sectional scheme, you'll have levies for the body corporate within your scheme as well as for the homeowners association to look after those communal areas as well. Brilliant. Thank you so much for chatting no, to us. No, it's a pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> I'm definitely very clued up now on property. Now, the grand prize in Winner Home is your choice of one of three fully designed cluster homes at the Eye of Africa Golf and Residential Estate. To enter the grand prize competition, visit privateproperty.co.za and click on the Winner Home icon to answer an easy question and vote for your favourite design duo.
Keep a lookout each week for more property advice right here on Win A Home. And remember that when you enter the grand prize competition, you automatically get entered into the bi-weekly draw, where this time you could win a Plascon voucher to the value of 5,000 Rand. Now, coming up, we find out how far those design duos are with their spare rooms at the halfway mark of the challenge. Welcome back. This is Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Now, if you've just joined us, today's show is all about that all-important spare room, the second challenge for our design duos. And they have total creative freedom, but the space cannot be a bedroom. So, Team VC have chosen to do a multi-purpose study slash chill room. Team House and Leisure are creating a shared wardrobe and home office. And Team Habitat are building a library. Now, with all of these exciting ideas coming along nicely, it's time for me to take a look at how the progress is going. Time management was a huge learning curve for all the duos in the previous challenge. With loads of cupboards to be installed, Team House and Leisure made certain this mammoth task got underway as soon as possible. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Hello, Team House and Leisure. Hello, Danila. Winners of Challenge 1. How's it going? Oopsie! That's interesting. All right, so they're clearly ready for the end of... Uh, Challenge two, is that okay? It is okay. It is fine. I'm just gonna sit here and not break anything as the drama unfolds. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Laying everything out here and the rest of it on the floor. Um, interesting. <laughs> all right, so halfway through the challenge, how's it going? You guys had an extra 5,000 Rand to spend on your room. How's it all been panning out? Is it gonna be on time? So far, everything is looking good because they're busy with the built-in cabinets right now and the only thing that we're still waiting for is the table, the chairs already here for the table and the scissor stone that has to go in the wardrobe. Okay, so remind us what you had planned, uh, what's the overall vision? The idea was to have a, like a walk-in closet since we removed like the, the built-in cabinets from the main bedroom. So just to make it a bit more interesting, not a traditional walk-in closet, we added like a little informal office space. Which he didn't want to show you. <laughs> but then now I think it's a good idea. It makes the space much more multifunctional. So as you walk into the space, the focal point is going to be the office sitting area. And then you realize that it's more than just an office sitting, like an office setup. There are built-in cabinets as well. Which are also hidden because there's a mirror finish and it basically reflects the rest of the room and it adds more lighting because it bounces the light. And also we've got the chandeliers, which we're very excited about, like they're coming all the way from Cape Town and they're going to hang almost like a spider pattern. And then we also have got custom bulbs, which also they different, like we paid attention to the detail, detail like yeah. that they have character in each one of them. Did you guys learn any lessons from the last challenge? I mean, are you guys gonna finish on time? Are there any issues so far? It looks yes. like everything will be ready now. And we actually planned that we need to plan much more. Yeah, so planning is that one thing we need yeah. to hit on. Yes. <laughs> right, I wanna go take a look, can I? Go for it. I actually Just wish it was mine. <laughs> It's subtle, the paint colours are great. I like what they've done with the space. My worry always is that it's a little bit unconventional, like who would have an office and a walk-in closet at the same time? But I think in so many ways, perhaps it's multi-purpose. Hmm. Well done, guys. I hope you guys like it. And here we are. I'm very excited for this one. Team Habitat always have the biggest and boldest ideas. What? Oh, guys, I expected so much more. There's literally just concrete on the floor and paint on the walls, not even that complete. Oh my heavens. A beer, Brad. Why is no one ready? You plan, you plan. A beer, Brad. No one's here. Oh. <laughs> guys, what the heck? What's going on? Well, as you can see, absolutely nothing. What happened? Well, sure, I'm trying to hide from you, Danilo. We are. Last time we learned that, you know, you plan and then you stick to the plan. This time around, we stuck to our plan. I mean, we were even early for the first time. <laughs> and no one's here. 
Our carpenters are delayed. The flooring is still gonna go in. The painters have just done the first coat. Chandelier's coming, but I don't know when. That's also I don't even know if it's gonna fit. I'm, I'm, hearing, I'm hearing a lot of blaming of other people, but you guys had a whole nother challenge before this one to learn these lessons. Why are you still behind schedule? I swear, I'm not even gonna <laughs> lie. If I, we planned any more in advance, we'd be planning the, the For other the, takes. I mean, it's really, it's really. No, honestly, it's like, it's not to pass the blame. It's just one of those, we really drop a really strict like plan. Okay. So if someone doesn't arrive, I guess you just gotta take the hammer into your own hands. And, and today we're going DIY. Yeah. Okay, well, let's think optimistically. Uh, what still needs to be done? What's the vision? What's the plan? A library. Shelving. shelving. That's the shelving guy. He, that whole room is supposed to be shelved. Hitting in some nails, not painting our nails this time. And then we still have to <laughs> decorate those shelves. Like, I mean, we ordered shelves for days. So it's like, you, we're not just going to leave them plain. Because mm. we do like to go big, but then it's like, again, we're in the same situation as last time. Mm. I will be honest. Yeah. And it's like, big dreams take big plans and... <laughs> a lot okay. of stress. And if you guys don't complete all of this, what happens if you lose again? We can't lose again. No. It's time to put on our roller skates and get... Uh-uh. <laughs> I'll be damned if we lose again. No, 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 no! No. Last week, Team VC were critiqued on not showing more creativity and personality in their room. This time, they're expressing their style with a fun paint technique as part of a feature wall using Plascon's Nautilus color. Be careful with this. Ah, so Team VC getting their hands dirty. Hello, you two. Yep. Hi, Danilo. This looks, Hi, Danilo. This looks pretty interesting. As hard at work as you guys look, I'm very worried. I just see paint on the walls. Nothing else is in here. Are you guys going to be done? We're going to get everything done on time. It's all about uh, time management. I think we're on the right track. So we're not stressing. Our furniture is waiting for us in the other room. You exactly. can ask yourself. So we have everything here. We just need to put it together as soon as our floors are done. This looks interesting. Tell me about what the plan is with this piece on the wall. We're doing like a painting technique effect, uh, which is going to look very awesome. Just uh, give us two hours and we'll be done. <laughs> what is the idea then of the whole space? So this room is basically going to be a safe place for our clients. We want him to come in here, rest and relax. He enjoys music, he enjoys um, photographs, he enjoys <laughs> studying, reading. So what we're going to do is have a study slash music room slash library where you can just relax. So on this wall here, we're going to display one of his prized photos, which was a collaboration we did with Pomukhadi on photographs. Um, around Josie. Around Josie. And we're thinking of having a pool somewhere, so I'm not sure we're going to have it. <laughs> relaxing. <laughs> yeah. One thing I've always wanted to do is get my hand involved in the artwork, so can I add my two cents? Uh, you can just, uh, let me put a little bit of this. Of and then this spray up. And then you can blow. Yeah, there we go. Look, Look at that. that. Yeah. Hey now. Yeah, that's so If you win this home, you can win my personal touch too. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely, guys. We'll get back to it. Thanks, Danny. Good luck. I want to see a finished product and I want it to be brilliant. Thank, Thank you, Danny. I'm promising you the best. True to their word, the pace of work does indeed quicken at all three homes. There's a real sense of purpose as the tradesmen bring the duo's vision to life and it's exciting to see their spare rooms take shape as each specialist adds their input. Now that you've seen some of what the design duos are planning, let us know what you think of their spare rooms so far. Follow Win a Home on social media and use that all-important hashtag Win a Home to share your thoughts and comments. Next week, we reveal the completed spare rooms and it's anyone's guess if Team Habitat will get the victory they feel that they deserve. That's if they even finish on time. Plus, whose photographic collaboration will come out on top when the judges come to visit? Will it be Team VC or Team House and Leisure? I'm imagining some drama. Join us again next week, Friday at 4 p.m. on Win a Home on Afternoon Express. And until then, have a good weekend. Ciao, ciao. Mwah. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.
Afternoon Express, made with love by Clover. Another feel-good production.